Hi, this is Professor Schimmel, and I'd like to talk to you today about the MR and VP tests. But first, let me talk about uh, a group of tests that MR, VP, MR and VP are a part of. It's called the IMVIC series of tests. And these tests were designed to help um, identify and separate, differentiate between a, um, a large group of gram-negative bacilli, they're facultative anaerobes, and they are referred to as, sometimes as the coliforms, meaning that uh, they um, have the potential to inhabit the GI tract, lower GI tract of um, humans and other animals. Now here's what the IMVIC acronym stands for. The I stands for the indole test. The M stands for the methyl red test. Uh, uh, v stands for uh, the vogue's Proskauer test. The lowercase i doesn't stand for anything, and uh, the C stands for the citrate test. So we're going to concentrate this morning on uh, MR and VP tests, and both tests, they're two separate tests, but they use the same broth. This is MRVP broth, uh, not very remarkable to look at. Looks very much like triptych soy broth, but it has um, a um, uh, large quantities or a high concentration of glucose in it. And so we're going to look at the specific end products of glucose metabolism. All right, now if we have a positive reaction for the MR test, and then that means that the microorganism through various uh, fermentative pathways produces large quantities of acid. If we, on the other hand, have a positive reaction for the uh, vogue's proskauer test or the VP test, then that means rather than large quantities of acid, the organism produced a, um, a neutral product, meaning neutral on the pH scale, called acetylmethylcarbonyl, or uh, we can just refer to it as acetoin. All right, so as I said, uh, the um, MRVP broth is used for both tests, so you're going to just, uh, uh, to inoculate it, you're gonna swish a loopful of the organism into a tube of MRVP broth, and then you're going to um, uh, incubate it as um, indicated in the book, incubation times are in your lab manual. And after incubation, the broth should be nice and turbid. What you would do at that point is uh, make sure the cap's on and just kind of agitate the tube just to stir up the contents. And then what you are going to do is you will need um, two, two clean test tubes with this silver cap is called a Morton cap um, per microorganism tested. You'll do one test uh, excuse me, you'll do the MR test in one of these tubes and the VP test in the other. And so you're going to do this. You will use a sterile pipette to pipette one mil of the incubated broth into one of those clean tubes and you'll do the MR test there. You'll, um, you're going to transfer using a sterile pipette another mil of the incubated broth into a second tube and you'll do the VP test in that tube. Now uh, to, to actually run the MR test you will add five drops to this tube of um, methyl red. And if that methyl red stays red, because that's a pH indicator that is red under acidic conditions. So you add your five drops of methyl red. If it remains red, that's a positive test. Now to run the VP test, you're going to add 15 drops of VP reagent A and five drops of VP reagent B. And if the uh, broth in this tube turns red, that's a positive VP reaction. Now, um, the VP reaction may take up to an hour uh, to complete its reaction, to turn red. And uh, my experience has been, though, that usually you'll see a good reaction in about 20 minutes, but there are some organisms that could take as long as an hour. Uh, and so you need to let the, the VP tube sit there undisturbed. So don't be picking it up and jiggling it like this, okay? Uh, just let it sit undisturbed uh, for however long it takes. 20 minutes will probably do the trick. Now, um, let's talk about the expected reactions again because we typically expect to get opposite results for the MR and VP tests, right? So the organism either produced large quantities of acid from glucose, in which case we have a positive MR test, or it produced the uh, product known as acetoin. So if I get a positive MR reaction and my VP is negative, I'm not likely to worry too terribly much about that. But if my methyl red test is negative and my VP test isn't turning positive right away, 
that's when I'm going to be a little bit more patient and, and allow the VP test to sit and make sure uh, that it actually does turn red so that I, I don't have any particular problem. Um, all right, now when you're done with the test, everything is going to get uh, boiled down for disposal, just like always. Even these, uh, these tubes with the Morton caps, you'll see there are um, little um, uh, holes cut into the Morton cap. So you just put the Morton cap on, boil it down for disposal like you would anything else. Um, okay, thanks. I think that's it. I will have um, reacted tubes for you to look at at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.